everybody, Bethany here. Welcome back to my art page. Art, art page. <laughs> portfolio out. I got lots of papers out. The more papers out, they're just everywhere. So, as you can tell, I'm going to be discussing my first year experience at art college. <laughs> Looking at everything, it's crazy. Okay, I feel like I'm all over the place right now. So, I want to explain. I go to IUSB, which is Indiana University of South Bend, and it is not that bad. Like, me first going there, I thought it was going to be very different, and I wasn't going to get a good experience, but the professors in the art department there are very nice, and they know what they're doing, so I'm very happy to have them and to be learning underneath their wings. Yeah. Anyways first class I took of the semester, I mean, I guess I improved it, it kind of pushed me a little bit, but <laughs> the first project that we had to do for that class was cutting out paper, and I had to use an exacto knife, and it was a pain in the butt, yeah, it was a pain in the butt, and first off, I did this. I was okay with it, right? You know, I was looking good. But then he said that it didn't make any sense, I guess. And so I redid it at the last minute and I ended up doing this, which it's kind of torn right there. That was a challenge. I don't think my gift is in cutting out paper. It was just lines. It is a Volkswagen. It did not turn out the way I wanted it to. It did not at all. We're not gonna talk about that one. Next, for the same class, boots. We had to do makeup weird colors but abstract a picture or something and so I was like, I wanna do a pair of boots. And so I wanted to do yellow and purple because they're complementary colors. Snazzy terms right there for you. See what you get from going to college you learn snazzy terms. Right next, we had to like choose like different feelings, right? Like anxiety. Can you guess what that is? Vulnerability. Because I wanted to like show all the colors like, you know, blue equals sad, red is anger or passion, I guess. And then yellow was supposed to be happy. So I was like, okay, this is all their feelings from this circle. It's just spilling out onto that circle, but. You know, that's what I thought. I thought it was a good idea. Two more projects left for this class. So, I love watercolor if you, water, what a color. Watercolor if you didn't know. And I did this. We had to take a landscape or some weird object and like do like the reverse effect on it and have like contradicting feelings with it. And I did this. So I was like, this looks really serene. So how can we not make it serene? Make it all red in one color and make it look like it's the end of the world. And then the last one was to tell like a story with only pictures. Pretty sure I titled this Nothing Lasts Forever, but this is the first one. This is the second one. And then I had to have a third picture because we we're supposed to have four and so I was like, okay, I can show like this energy around it. I wanted my main focus to be on this last one. It's a little dark. The flower died story. So that was that class. I feel like what I got out of that, I learned a lot of good terms. Color combinations, for sure. Color theory, for sure. Even though I already knew my colors, I guess. Duh, Bethany, you should know your colors. I know my colors. It's just color theory. There's a lot more to learn about, and so I kind of took that into consideration, and I did a lot of research and stuff. Surprising, you know? Artists doing research on colors. The other class that I took for my first semester at college, fundamental drawing class. And not gonna lie, we started off a little sketchy. I never knew that I was going to learn faces, figures, hands, my own face. Just wait and see. You wanna see the first thing I had to do in that class? It's a potato. <laughs> I know, right? 
potato. Next. <laughs> it's so bad. We had to draw a mannequin. I was like five feet away from it. Yeah, I didn't know that you could sit closer, but I didn't, and that turned out like that. The booty just looks all. So the next thing we had to do in this class was fabric. Fabric and pencil. Fabric and pencil. Who was I? I don't even know. Next thing that we had to do, she kind of let us choose what objects we wanted to um, draw. And so I chose to do nail polish bottles. So yeah, we did that. I chose to like do contradicting ones, you know, like having different like emotion to an object, I guess. But after that, we get into the fun stuff. That means hands, face, a foot. Yeah, I'm not flexible, sorry. Studies on hands first to slowly get into like being comfortable like drawing, you know, humans and stuff. It was like sign language and it spells out B E T. Bet. First three letters of my name until this year of school. I never drew faces, like ever. Never, ever. If I did, it just turned out so bad and I gave up on learning how to draw them. It was that bad. We had to look in a mirror for an, a, homework, a homework assignment. This is just to show you how much I grew because there's a big leap here. I had the mentality that I was not going to do well. So I told myself, Bethany, you're going to fail at drawing faces. I did this. My first attempt at drawing myself. I mean, does it look like me? I mean, I got like the- it's scary, I know. Next! But do not judge me for this. Because this is when we had a live model come in, okay? Drawing a live person that is moving and breathing is difficult. Also, I am sorry if this creeps you out. It does not have any details. It's just the facial outline, okay? I had to sit down, I think, for two hours doing that. That took me two hours. Yeah, two hours. We're going to my midterm because I forgot about my midterm. It was a, it was a still life that she set up in the room that we all helped out and it was during October, so we wanted to go with something more spooky. It's all pencil. Pencil? Yeah. So if you're gonna tell, that is a bird that is resting on a mannequin with draped cloth coming down. And then in this corner, of course, is a pumpkin with a hat on it, like, classic. Which I'm surprised I used graphite for that. But the bird, oh my gosh, that bird took so long. I had to do every single individual line. It was like one of those little plastic crows, you know, like, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go for it. And then I died to my death, staying in the studio, more than everybody else. But it was kind of nice, because I met my like first friend on campus that was like an art student. I was like, I have friends. Kind of. And then, okay, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one of the whole year of school. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are because I love it so much and it makes me laugh so much. So we had to choose between hands or defeat, right? To draw. And we were just introducing Conte, white Conte. I chose to do a foot, which is not that bad. I'm pretty proud of the foot. But then after we drew the foot, she told us to like make something else that would go with it. And so I was like, we're gonna get an airplane that's trying to take off, right? But the foot is on the runway. Okay, it's just a giant foot on a runway. Look at this. <laughs> I love it so much. I want to frame this and put it in my bedroom somewhere. I really do. Like, where'd this foot come from? Like, the people in the plane are like, um, we have a problem. And then somebody else on the other line's like, Ksh, Ksh, Ksh. what? 
what kind of problem. And then the people in the plane are like, there's just this giant foot. I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, this is my favorite one. Sorry, I'm talking about it so much. For my final, for the first semester, I made the mistake of looking in a mirror, which it was very challenging. Like, ask anybody to go look at themselves in a mirror and draw themselves. No reference photo, just a mirror. I was like, this should be easy. This was a lot of work. It pushed me though, it pushed me a lot. All right, so we already went through all that. So now on to drawing one, which was the last art class that I just recently finished to finish up my first year of college. I did a cast drawing of the David, I think that's what it is, which that means I'm just doing a drawing of um, a marble cast of somebody's head. And this is what I did. Oh, this is where it gets interesting. We introduce <laughs> pastels. Pastels are messy. They're dangerous for you to breathe in. So there's that. They're just difficult all the way. You wanna see the first thing I did for pastels? I did an orange. This is where we started out with pastels. Yikes, <laughs> it's so bad. Our next like homework assignment or project was to do black paper only using white, which was really difficult for me. So after we did the black paper, we had to do our first actual like pastel drawing. And it was so difficult. I was like crying on the inside. I was not ready for this at all. And so I decided, how can we get more details into something to make it look better? Go bigger. So what I decided to do I decided to go bigger. <laughs> it's almost as tall as me. Actually laying it out the other way, like it is as tall as me. It's 30 by 40 and it's a saxophone painting, which you can really tell the difference between the orange and the saxophone. There's a big jump there. Yeah, so I did that. Then the next one we did, a portrait again. Oh my gosh, portraits. This is probably my favorite. Oh, I don't have it with me though because stupid COVID-19, we had to turn in our portraits of ourselves. We had to look in the mirror again, which I'm so thankful that I looked in the mirror for that first portrait because it was 10 times easier the second time. So much easier. I am really proud of that. Like the next one that I did was isolation drawing. Of course, because why not? Let's just do an isolation drawing because we're being isolated. And then finally, this last one, I mean, I just posted another video about this to show time lapse of it, so you guys maybe have already seen it. I am really happy with that one. Like, I have grown so much. When I was in high school, I would have never thought that I would be able to ever draw anything like that. I thought, I had my mindset that I was going to learn how to do, um, landscapes and that's not what happened at all. I've grown a lot and I'm really happy that I decided to go to college for fine arts. Yeah, it's just something I never expected, you know? Well, I hope you guys like this video. I had a lot of fun just sh like sharing my experience and how it was for me. Comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, hope you guys have a good day. See you next time. Bye!